know they're soulmates and precious. So today we'll be learning how to draft our full scale bodies. Now, to draft your full scale bodies, you need your hip measurements. I, I'm going to be leaving the, on the description box, you know, the details on how to take your accurate measurements, okay, so that we can have what to follow. Like I said, you need your hip measurement or your upper hip measurement. That's not the fuller part of your hip, where your blouse will stop. The length of your blouse, you need to take around, you know, that part. That is the hip measurement I'm talking about, okay? So for this, the measurements I'm working with here is 38. So what I did is I divided 38 by 2 and I got 19, okay, 19 inches. So I divided 38 by 2, like I said, this is 38 divided by 2, I got 19 inches. And I added 1 inch to it for ease, okay? So my box here is 20 inches, can you see? 20, and the length of the blouse is 24 inches, can you see? 24. Now, I went ahead and made, made this box. Here is our 20 inches, which is our hip circumference measure. That, what I did basically is using the biggest part of my measurement. If your bust is bigger than your hip, use your bust. If your waist is bigger than your waist, uh, your bust and your hip, use your waist measurement. But for this um, tutorial, the hip measurement is bigger than both the bust and the waist. So I went ahead and used the hip measurement divided by two plus one inch to get this, okay? And here is the length of our blouse. Remember, I'm not using any seam allowance. So, to save us the time of redrafting, I'm still going to post the link of how to draft your bodies, your half scale, okay? Remember your half scale stop on your waistline, okay? So I'm just going to put this down here and go ahead with my tracing wheel and trace it down on this so that it will be easy for us. So I'm just going to save us the stress of going through this again, okay? It is really easy. If you don't understand this, you need to go back to watch it, okay? So I'm going to be drafting up to this half length here. Then I'll show us how to continue the rest. So... I've gone ahead and I've used my tracing wheel to transfer the markings. So at this point, I'm not sure you can see, but I can. Now I'll use my marker pen, you know, to start drawing those lines that I have down there, following my tracing, you know, wheel, my tracing, the tracing wheels line. So I'm going to be using my marker pen to follow it. Okay, let's zoom it. I'm done transferring my markings. Can you see? It's really easy, you know. When you have your half bodies, it makes it easier for you. Okay? So, let's continue with our tutorial. Now, this is the back and this here is the front. So, for the back, I'm going to be exhausting all these. Okay? I'm sorry, for the front, not for the back. Okay? Remember, this is my hip measurement. So, I would exhaust it. Now you can use your curve ruler, you know, to get that curve. Remember, we are not pointy in nature. There's no, nobody has um, this sharp edge, okay? Some might be wondering why I didn't measure it. Remember again that I used my hip, um, actual or accurate hip measurement with just one inch seam allowance. It means I have half inch seam allowance here and half inch here. Now I'm going to be blending, you know, the lines, the waistline, so I don't have this sharp edge. 
Now let's talk about the back. The back is a little bit complex or complicated as I might like to call it because the difference between my front and my back length is two inches, which is this. Now some, some of us might want to ask, why do you make the back that short? Yes, the back of your dress is supposed to, of your blouse is not supposed to be as long as the front. This is because of the back puff. So the, if the back is too long, it will move up, it will have that puff. So when you see when someone makes a firm or a fitted body or a fitted dress and the back doesn't you know, have that puff, it's probably short. Or another way, probably they drafted the bodies from the shoulder. That is the other way you can make it you know, equal because you'll be eliminating all the back puff from this side. Okay? So if you're doing only your shoulder that without the bust that you can make it equal both the front and the back and then you might have to do about 50 or 100 sorry 100 percent back tightening to eliminate you know any form of puff around the back area so i want to explain that to us i'll go ahead and mark out the two inches like i said the two inches is the difference between my front and my back and yes it doesn't affect anything okay just the sides the front length is just going to be perfect and the back length is going to be perfect as well remember i've not added my seam allowances to this yet okay so now that i've done this i'm just going to wait even before i make this curve i'm supposed to explain the dart to ross but i'll still go ahead and explain it irrespective okay so for the dart your starting point for your dart should be 12 inches and the end point should be 22 inches or you can come down from your waist your waistline to six inches for your dart end point okay but what i like to do is just to end my dart at 22 inches it works for me and i'm sure it will work as well for you okay you can also start up your dart from um 12 but I came down here on this tutorial by one inch from my boss point, which is also okay. Like I said, there are many roads that lead to the market, okay? So it doesn't mean because the road I took is not the same you take. That does not make mine wrong, okay? So there are other methods to do this. But for this tutorial, this is the method, you know, I am using, okay? So I've connected this that to this part, okay? Can you see? And then... I'm going to make this triangular shape that that has here and connect it back to the waistline. So I have my front block already. Okay, so can you see? So this here is my waist that. My waist and my bust that to the front as well. Now for the back, I'm still going to repeat the same thing. Remember I said I'm using 4 inch, I'm sorry, 4 inches. For my you know that now because the back is exactly on 22 inches just in case of those of us that might not want our back um, back the that to go all the way to the hip is not supposed to go you can still go up by two inches and end your that there or one one or two is okay but for this tutorial I'll be using two inches to end my back that okay like i said you can also make yours equal if you want but i'll show you how to go about the back tightening to avoid or eliminate you know the back puff that is what i'm running away from that's why i used the difference but because i have a boss that here if i don't use the difference between my back and my front it can never be equal except if i use this normal length and hold my back that my back will be longer than the front okay i believe if you watch this video and take notes you understand it's really easy okay so my back that is all done as well now for the back tightening before we go to the back tightening i'll just connect my hip okay the hip measurement is so easy so can you see and then you connect it back here. If you notice any sharp edge, you can always blend it, okay? 
Remember, we are not pointy in nature. We have curve, a little bit of curve. Now for the back, to eliminate my back pole for my back, I'll have to go in, you know, by half inch again. Okay, so you can do one inch if you want it 100%. This is just 50% to eliminate your back pole. Now there's something I want to tell us. There's no rules as to where this goes to, okay? You can even take it, I've seen some, you know, designers take it up to their, you know, neckline this depends on what you're working with if you're working with two all this soft fabric you need to tighten it up just to eliminate if you're working with scuba neoprene any stretch fabric you also need to take it up okay so but for this tutorial i'm just going one inch above you know my chest line can you see and also if you're working with scuba or neoprene you can take it all the way down but i like to stop around where i have my that can you see so it's it is really easy can you see and on this point here i'll just blend it in okay learn to blend it helps because most people the way they cut that's how they join you know? so you have that experience and you have the strong enough you know? okay now before i cut remember i'm going to be transferring my bust that sorry to the shoulder so my shoulder here, I have 5.5, like I said, I'll divide it by 2 and mark. So I need to mark my boss points as well, so I can know where to direct, you know, this is my boss point. So I'll be taking the shoulder that all the way. Now, if you're making any dress that you want, if you're making a pieces dress, this is our full scale bodies though. But I just want to explain some things. So if you want a shoulder that for both the front and the back, you can also do the same thing for the back. All you need to do is just to connect the midpoint of your shoulder to your dart. And you have a shoulder that if you want an arm hole that look for the midpoint of your, your arm hole. For this point, I have eight. This is four. So which means this is the midpoint. And you can just easily connect it back to this. So I'll be cutting this out now and I'll show us what it looks like when I'm done. this out as you can see I even went ahead and slashed the shoulder so can you see this is the back and this is the front so if you notice the difference between the front and the back length I also you know folded this part so you need to fold here that's our bust that I've closed it remember the, the technique you have to close one that you know, before you can open another that so i'm going to be using my paper tape to seal it but even before we use the paper tape and for those of us that might be wondering what this ss is i'll be putting the link below for you to watch the previous videos so that you can understand this tutorial so this is it our front and the back now i also went ahead in the former or previous tutorial to explain that if you don't want to move your butt that to the shoulder you can also move it back to your waist you can move it anywhere around your body. You know, as time goes on, I'll be showing us how to manipulate, you know, our darts. Okay? So, this is it. You can see now with our bust darts closed, the front and the back bodies is now equal. So, ladies, that is it for today. On our next class, I'll be showing us how to use this method to achieve our Ammo Princess darts with cup like bustia sort of okay so but before then don't forget i'm precious don't forget to subscribe to our to, to, um, to our channel don't forget to invite your friends we also have um our monthly online paid class you know where we teach different styles how to cut 
how to sew and how to achieve neat finishings okay so i'll be seeing you in our next tutorial where we'll be learning how to draft our armhole princess that or some people can call it princess same using this pattern and you know we'll expand shape or go more further we'll be teaching you how to draft it but for both your front and your back so we'll be seeing you in the next class till then stay blessed and precious bye